Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about what happens when a secant and tangent intersect. So in the image to the left, we've got a secant and a tangent. The secant is the line that goes from one end of the circle to the other end. So line or segment um, AB. And then the tangent is the line that intersects our circle at just one point. So that's BC. All right, so when that secant and tangent intersect on the circle, they create an angle. And the measure of that angle is equal to half the measure of the intercepted arc. All right, guys, I'm going to make up some problems so that we can practice this new theorem. I'm going to give you the measure of the angle, and I want you to figure out the measure of the arc. Pause the video right now to give yourself some time to figure out the measure of arc ADB if the measure of angle ABC is equal to 100. Okay, so if you said 200, you are correct. Let's go over this. To figure out the measure of that arc, you would do 100 times 2, which will give you 200. All right, let's do another one. The measure of arc ADB is 250. I want you to find the measure of the angle. Pause the video to figure this out right now. All right, so with this one, you do the reverse of what happened in the previous one. You would divide that arc measure by two, and that would give you 125, which is the measure of the angle.